Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Anime Ramble. Today I got for you Red Hood Hunter's Guilds Chapter 17. What is going on? Well, this chapter opens up with Cinderella swallowing her pride and asking Debo for her help to stop the mayor. All right? It was clear last chapter, and honestly chapter 15, before the mayor had even gone rogue, that this is a one-man band at this point. Okay, he's acting completely on his own. He is, his cover is blown on both ends. You know, Blue knows that he's not dead. He's confronted the first guild master, who obviously knows that he, he's the second guild master. So everything about this man is is going downhill. He's completely rogue at this point. But the Red Hood doesn't want the world um, to be destroyed. All right, that's the one difference. The mayor does, but the Red Hood does not. Um, the reason Cinderella has to ask for help is because the time constraints of them not knowing where the book is located. The mayor does, they do not. I think that's something that he's always kept to himself and kept very close so that they wouldn't be able to find him when this type of situation occurred. So she is so in need of help from Debo that she offers her life in exchange for her to help stop the mayor, but Debo doesn't want her life. Death would be far too easy of a way out and that, that's something that she doesn't want. So what does she do instead? She kisses her. That's right, she kisses her. Something that's worse than death or anything in between for Cinderella. She hates physical contact so much that that's what would be so devastatingly impactful to her. Not taking an arm, not burning her hat, breaking her wand, ripping pages out of her spell book. Physical contact and a kiss is worse than death for Cinderella. Keep that in mind moving forward, it's gonna be important later. So. To make things more clear, she still has her grudge against Cinderella because I believe it was her that put the curse on top of her. So I mean, me maybe me personally, I'm like, look, if you want my help, you have to remove this curse. But considering it's so in, in tune with her fighting style, I can't see it being removed as of right now if she really wants to make something shake when she gets inside, especially against the mayor. Regardless of that, this leads to a massive combo attack from the two in the form of Comet Laser, which is an attack coming from Debo in the form of her emitting a blast that is 6100 degrees Fahrenheit and Cinderella focusing that attack to produce this destructive beam that just decimates the bunker and allows for them to gain access into the main HQ where the mayor and everybody else is. Bonkers, Ty, Mai, Miguel, and everybody else whose name I forgot are all on the way to the main HQ as we speak. Flash over and we get Ludwig, that's the mayor, and the inscriber explaining the book and its details. So how this works is that the readers filled the early details of the book before any guild member was established. From there, it was buried on the island deep underground before they found it and began actively trying to eliminate the, the, the travesties put in the book that was there to fuck their shit up. And to the readers, this is just a good story. Again, keep in mind, The Matrix, okay? The entire plot was that they didn't know the world that they were hooked up to and living in was fake. Something I didn't mention in the previous chapter is that the guild has already made seven attempts before this. Um, to rewrite history in their books in the attempt of stopping werewolves. They've tried plagues, they've done nukes, natural disasters, all of it. This attempt was their eighth try with the whole lycanthrop disease, and each attempt previously has ended with, you know, just complete destruction and eradication of all humans across the entire world. So what do they have to do after that? Well, they have to rewrite the world, make everything good again, just to try to fuck shit up with another strategy to try to eliminate werewolves. They return with each iteration of a new story where they just try something different than the previous story. A story that is forever changing and adapting for just survival. The mayor's plan isn't to eliminate werewolves, his plan is to simply eliminate the entire world and be done with the foolishness that he has had to be subjected to for 500 years. He's tired, he's over it, and obviously they don't have a plan to make this shit work. You gotta keep in mind how long each plan takes to actually, you know, incorporate and fulfill. This is something that could take years. If Valu was allowed to join the Hunter's Guilds and try to unravel the entire story, God only knows how long that would take. Decades. It could take decades, right? Because, again, they don't have any knowledge of this. Actually, I don't even know if Grim had knowledge. She lost her memory too early on, so. But we got answers to previous questions I had regarding how he was able to move around without being recognized at all. He wrote his name out the book. That's it. He just wrote his name out the book. No one remembered him at all. Uh... The Alpha Wolf didn't remember him, Cinderella didn't remember him. I don't think the first Guild Master remembered him, probably not, but nobody remembered this man. So he was able to move, much like I called it, um, without being disturbed or anything of that nature. But all of this is interrupted because Debo blasting the shit out the front door, okay? It's expected of her to be in the main HQ by next chapter, but the mayor is like, um, just don't interfere, you mere extra. Now will Debo and Cinderella be strong enough to handle the mayor 
is the question all right is it's really not even a question at this point they need to if they want the plan to go off without a hitch however blue is the main character so all of this will more than likely fall on his head because of how the story was written what was written specifically about him we don't know hopefully we find out next chapter but i think all is lost the only way i can see this chapter the only way i can see this series ending excuse me because it is ending is that the entire world implode like what else can you really do and that also kind of sets up for future iterations of this manga if it does get an anime adaptation if it does blow up and is very successful in the anime form we might be able to get a rebirth of this because for the longest time this is the only series that i could really say has a rebirth aspect because of how it was set up it was set up fucking beautifully how the fuck did this series not pop off the matrix of fucking manga because it's always set up as oh there's readers then there's the book there's a book that controls the universe that's in that universe and you have inscribers who write history and events out in that book if you well if you destroy the whole world the book is clearly mystical there has opportunities for things to return but i have rambled on long enough um if you made it to the end thank you if you're a new go plus ultra and smash the subscribe button let me know you rock with the content that i put out on my channel like the video if you like the video dislike the video if you dislike the video comment on the video your thoughts about what you think is going on is this going to be a series that could potentially come back in the future we will see subscribe if you're brand new and like always until next time i'm out